Hey guys, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to build the East Broadtop Carpentry Shop in Rock Hill Furnace, Pennsylvania. So the stuff over my shoulder here, previous three kits, uh, the machine shop and the car shop and the boiler house all kind of attached in this large uh, complex. This actually sits basically in front of where that um, arrangement would be. So this is uh, very similar in colors. You can see the photo up there. I don't need to show you the box. And uh, uh, this is also another uh, Broad Top Mountain Models. Now, from what I understand, this kit actually needs, uh, you need to go to the Friends of the East Broad Top. This is an exclusive kit for them. So you're going to have to uh, go there. Um, that may not be the only time that ever happens. So uh, you might go ahead and check out their site. Um, I just want to kind of cover some of the basics. Uh, number one, uh, thank you, Nathan Klein, for your passion for the East Broad Top. Uh, it's very cool to see some of these kits offered. Um, uh, number two, very similar construction method. Uh, uh, you know, adhesive uh, window pieces that go together, um, corrugated metal on the roof, uh, adhesive uh, or um, board and batten pieces that you can use spray adhesive on uh, to attach those. So if you've built the other three, you probably don't need to use the instructions very much. The instructions are great, but um, I will tell you that uh, you're going to see a lot of repetitiveness. So instead of going through all that, we're just going to jump right in. If you guys have any questions, check the notes below. Uh, check out some of the previous builds. The thing that's unique about this kit is you can actually use this on your layout as a standalone structure. You don't have to actually build you know, the entire uh, Rock Hill Furnace area. You could actually get this kit as a standalone um, factory or uh you know whatever um so uh we're going to go ahead and do a parts overview real quick and then uh we're going to go through each of the uh, kit steps one by one and then after that we're going to uh, take a once around look at the finished product and wrap it up so let's stop talking and let's go start building the kit
Okay guys, that's going to be for this episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. I also want to thank Nathan Clyde from Blacktop Mountain Models for allowing us to feature these uh, kits in our video series. So until next time guys, uh, and stay tuned. I hear there's a good kit on the way. So um, I will see you guys in the next video. See you guys.